Hey, everybody. It's Tim Miller from The Bulwark. Uh, Donald Trump had two rallies over the weekend that were just disgusting. There is no other way to put it. Uh, the depths that he has sunk to uh, in the type of rhetoric targeting Kamala Harris as mentally disabled, uh, but more ominously uh, discussing immigrants and police uh, where Donald Trump uh, suggested that, that our country is going to lose our culture if we don't have mass deportations, uh, just sounding like a you know, blood and soil nationalist in the vein of some of the wor most grotesque European parties, and then discussing how uh, police need to enact one really violent day to scare away uh, shoplifters, I guess. Uh, like, this is all straight authoritarian shit. It is disgusting, it is authoritarian, it is anti-American, uh, it, it, is, it is talking about like, preserving the racial identity of this country, um, you know, giving unlimited power to jackbooted thugs to, uh, to target people. Um, you know, the, the, this is, this is un-American. And apparently our media is just unable to rise to this challenge once again. Uh, because uh, while I and you see clearly what is happening in these Donald Trump clips, um, apparently uh, others who are, who are in charge of covering the news do not. So let's watch a couple of these clips together. Um, if you, like me, were trying to enjoy uh, a, little, uh, a little weekend, a little, it was a beautiful uh, afternoon for me in Austin yesterday. Um, uh, if you were also able to kind of try to enjoy the outdoors and miss Donald Trump, I want you to, to watch these with me. Uh, first, uh, Donald Trump on uh, what migrants will do when they come into your kitchen. So they don't commit crimes like us. No, no. They make our criminals look like babies. These are stone cold killers. They'll walk into your kitchen. They'll cut your throat. And then here is Donald Trump talking about the mass deportation regime. Look, you got to do what you got to do. You got to get these people back where they came from. You have no choice. You're going to lose your culture. You're going to lose your country. You're going to have crime, the likes of which nobody has ever seen before. Again, so like on these two clips, I mean, this, these are just lies. This is just fantastical lies and fear mongering. The idea that these people are like coming into your kitchen and slitting your throat. Um, uh, the, the fact that we have to deport people, including Haitians, apparently, who are here legally uh, to preserve our culture. I, the immigrant story is the American culture. And yet, in the face of all that, here is how some of our leading media outlets described this speech. Axios, Trump pounds immigration message after Harris border visit. Then we have Politico. New, Trump ratcheted up his hardline rhetoric on immigration on Saturday. Bloomberg, Donald Trump sharpened his criticism on the border security in a swing state visit, playing up a political vulnerability for Kamala Harris like he's not sharpening things he's not ratcheting up he is advancing racist lies in an attempt to um create a rationale for putting in an authoritarian regime that gets to violently target foes you don't believe me here are two other clips from the weekend speeches the first one is donald trump talking about how he's going to prosecute people and i told him if we win and when we win, uh, we're going to prosecute people that cheat on this election. And if we can, we'll go back to the last one, too, if we're allowed. But we're going to prosecute people, so at least they know that's going to happen. And then here's the next one, talking about shoplifters and how they should be treated. All these stores go out of business, right? They don't pay rent. The, the, the city doesn't have money. The whole, it's a chain of events that's so bad. One rough hour, and I mean real rough, the word will get out and it will end immediately. End immediately. You know, it'll end immediately. You get to prosecute your political foes. Uh, you want to have one really violent day where the government... Uh, it gets to target uh, individual citizens without due process, you know, who have not uh, been given their constitutional rights uh, to, a, to a defense, to a fair trial. Like, this is, uh, this is fascist. Shit. That's what it is. 
Like there's just no other way around it. It is it is creating a rationale by by advancing these extreme way over the line lies about uh, black and brown immigrants and advancing lies about our election system in order to justify a violent crackdown on those mostly black and brown Americans when he gets in and in order to justify a politicized attack on political foes who are just trying to protect our damn election system and make it work and who are trying to do so in the face of a full frontal attack from Donald Trump and his allies. This is dark. And so you get to the Kamala Harris comment. Let's just watch that too. Joe Biden became mentally impaired. Kamala was born that way. She was born that way. And if you think about it, only a mentally disabled person could have allowed this to happen to our country. Anybody would know this. When you get to that, calling her mentally disabled, again, like this is the type of rhetoric that would have been unimaginable just 10 years ago. Like, the, like the, how much this would have followed a Republican candidate if they had called their opponent mentally disabled in 2012. Uh, you know, it, I, like it would have been front page story, front page story. But Donald Trump gets to do, does this stuff now and isn't held to account and has, has coarsened our rhetoric, has cheapened uh, the political dialogue. Uh, he has been cruel in ways that will trickle down to, you know, people that are suffering. And, and, and he just doesn't get called on it. We, the media gets to say he's ratcheting up his rhetoric. I, I, no, no. Those speeches are un-American authoritarian efforts to agitate the public and to stir up the type of animus that led to the violence on January 6th. We cannot allow it. It should be called out unapologetically by everyone covering this. There is no, the, there is no, there's no, it's not unbiased to, to just kind of soften Donald Trump's language to such a degree that it makes it seem like he's just, you, just discussing immigration policy. No, that's not unbiased. It is unbiased to say clearly without fear or favor what Donald Trump is doing. And this is what he's doing. He's lying. He's stirring up the emotions of the public. He's preparing for a lawless authoritarian regime if he gets back into the White House that will have no respect for the rule of law. That's what's happening. That is what was happening in his speeches this weekend. Um, I I was going to wait to talk about this with Bill Crystal on the podcast tomorrow, but I wanted to pop on um, after I saw the second speeches uh, because... Uh, and, and, and also after I saw how it's been covered out there, uh, because this is just, this, this is unacceptable, and it needs to be dealt with bluntly. It's dangerous what he's doing, it's wrong, it's un-American, and he must be stopped. We must stop him. Okay, subscribe to the feed. Uh, anything else uh, is breaking, obviously we'll be popping back on. I'll be back tomorrow on the Daily Podcast to discuss with Bill Crystal um, the uh, successful uh, assassination of the Hezbollah leader, uh, in addition to all of Donald Trump's rhetoric and the latest from the campaign trail. We'll see you all soon.